The days of that omen dominating the Breacher's meta are over. In the recent 11.6 patch, Triangle Factory decided to nerf not only the omen, but the RCP as well. You may be wondering if these guns deserve to nerf. Well, let me tell you. Me being the gun stats guy, I have a strong understanding of the guns in this game. I've tested all of them and made videos on each one. Except for the shotguns, I'm still working on those videos. Nonetheless, I'm going to make a bold statement here. But before I do, Let's see what they changed. First, we have a massive damage reduction to the Omen. Its damage went from these stats to these stats. I was very surprised when I calculated the difference. This was no small nerf to the Omen. In close quarters combat, it now takes 8 body shots to kill, 9 limb shots to kill, and 3 head shots to kill. At long range, it takes 10 body shots, 12 limb shots, and 4 head shots. And the wall bang damage is the lowest in the game by far. The omen does as much damage as a kitten attacking a bear. Well, I may be exaggerating a bit, but you get the picture. The RCP, on the other hand, had a recoil and damage drop off nerf. The damage was a small nerf, but it's there nonetheless. While we didn't have as much information in the alpha, we can still see the limb damage drop by a point. So the rest probably followed suit. The recoil nerf did make a visible difference. Here is comparing the before and after. Unload all your shots, but no one will. RCP. They seem to have changed the first shots to the RCP, which makes it more difficult to control. Now that we have seen the nerfs that were given to the SMGs, I can make my bold statement. I think these guns, technically speaking, did deserve what they got. The Omen is the cheapest SMG, so it should act like it. It used to match the damage of the RCP, which cost 700 more points, all with, in my opinion many others, the easiest recoil to control. Now, it comfortably fits its place in the SMG category. If you want a damage buff to your SMG, you're going to have to spend at least another 500 points for the Viper. The RCP's range damage nerf brings down its reliability at long range. While this may be upsetting for some, it did have the highest SMG range damage beforehand, and now it's been held back to reflect its cost and ability as an SMG. This statement also goes well with the fact that they changed the first shot to the RCP. In the end, these guns are intended as a cheap option for close range fights. Many people will flock towards the Cyclone as a cheap option with the highest reliable stopping power. I might even do so myself. However, I have a feeling that this gun will be getting a nerf soon. All said, Breachers is a very new game and will undergo many more changes in the future. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and join the Discord so you can stay up to date with the Breachers gun stat changes. Thank you all for your amazing support. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.